I'm sorry, it's a little bright. But um, I I took off my um, exhaust for funsies while I'm going all over the road. shaking but it's so loud and it's just um test bite back oh what this is so i literally just took off the exhaust with the pipe over i'll do some flybys and stuff like that but i just been really bored i don't have any content to like post <laughs> Sounds like it's cammed out like um, at idle.
Dude, it's so fun though. And you're trying to not get arrested? Hello, <laughs> uh. so you want to go exhaustless with your S2000? Um, precaution when you take off your exhaust, your system's going to run a lot more freely. Like, it's going to flow a lot better. So, it's going to run really rich, and your oil will smell like gas, and it's kind of bad vehicle engine. So, just keep that in mind, even though it's loud and it's fun. Other than that, um, hey, this is how you take it off. There's um, three screws from the cat to the exhaust. You gotta take those off first. Then there's four like little rear mounting points in the back of the car. And then there's one right beside the, I think it's a, um, it's a resonator pipe, I think. Um, it's that little side pipe that has like no reason to be there other than like noise channeling. But it should be right above that and always like spray some W40 on them and they should come straight off just slipping it back and forth. Um, just keep in mind that the exhaust is heavy and you might have to play with it. You will have to take off your tires to actually get to these little rubber bushings in the back area and it'll make the exhaust easier to take off. But right there around the round, like frame rail of the car, those little like circle pipes, um, that's where your four bolts will be. And it's kind of like holding your exhaust up more or less. You won't be able to get it out because the resonator is just too big to fit in that little hole. And the exhaust is just oddly shaped to fit, like, fit the car itself. So just keep that in mind too. Um, and if you run exhaustless for a long enough time, it could um, like mess up your valve timing. So just keep that in mind too, because it is really bad for your car. Um, even though it's loud, there's still back pressure with like straight pipes or like the Nvidia or um, the HKS exhaust. I mean. There's always some type of back pressure to it, and that's why we have exhaust on cars nowadays. I personally had to use my jack to actually lift the exhaust up so I can pull it up and out. And before you actually believe everything is and you start driving your car back, make sure, please make sure to attach that connecting rod what's underneath your car, what was holding your exhaust up. Because like, for some reason, I feel like that's to the frame and make sure it's still like stable. So it doesn't allow twist, like twistation within the frame. I could be delusional, but I mean, just make sure you put everything back on the car without the exhaust. Leave it how you, you know, found it. That is just my wise words to you. Um, but I'm some kid who's working on his car, taking off the exhaust. So take it with a grain of salt, honestly. But if y'all like content like this, just make sure you like and subscribe. Honestly, everything a little, everything, everything helps. Honestly, hopefully I'll be able to do more cool content and work on other type of cars and stuff. It's something I look forward to. First start up without exhaust. <laughs>